Ready, catch. Good boy. No, silly. You have to let go of the ball if you want me to throw it again. Hey, sweetie. Hi, Daddy. Enjoying some time playing outside? It's so nice tonight. Yeah, I was throwing the ball for Buddy, but he kept running away with it. He's silly. Look at the beautiful sunset, Stella. How does the sun make such beautiful colors like that, Blanca? We actually just talked about this in my science class at school. Light is made up of many different colors. We can see all of them when there is a rainbow because the light is reflecting off the water in the air. Normally, the sky looks blue because when sunlight reaches Earth, the blue part of the light is what is reflecting the most off gases and particles in the air. When the sun sets, the light has to travel farther. The red, orange, and yellow light reflects off of clouds and other objects, which is what makes the sky look so pretty. Blue is pretty too, but I love the sunset. Where does the sun go when we can't see it anymore? It's still there. As the Earth turns, the sun shines on a different part of the world. When it dips below the horizon line and is nighttime for us, it's daytime somewhere else. What's a horizon line? You have so many questions today. See where it looks like the sun is disappearing in the distance? That's called the horizon. Since the Earth is round, we can only see so far because it curves. Hey girls, it's starting to get darker. Want to get out the telescope and see what we can see? We might not be able to see past the horizon line, but the telescope can bring things we can't see into the foreground. Great idea, Dad. Hey look, there's Bart. He must have been playing at Texas House. We should ask him if he wants to use the telescope too. Hey Blanca, can I ask another question? I'm sorry I am asking so many. It's okay. I want to study science when I go to college. I love answering your questions. Why do things look so small when they're far away? It's perspective. When you look at something and it's close up, it's taking up more of the space that you can see, so it looks bigger. When something is far away, you can see a lot more in your field of vision, so it looks smaller. So that's why Bart looks so much bigger now than he just did when he was running down the street. You got it. Did you have fun at Texas House, Bart? Yep, we were playing kickball with some other kids in the neighborhood. And guess what, Dad? What? You know that mean girl from school, Gail? She even played with us. She's been a lot nicer lately. I'm so glad to hear that. Sounds like she's gotten some new perspective. I thought Blanca said perspective means how close or far away things are. It does, but it can also mean your point of view. Gail had a bad attitude before about kids she saw as different, but she seems to have learned that she can be a lot happier by being more kind. I know, isn't it great? I'm going to go take a shower. I'm so sweaty. Are you using the telescope tonight? Yes, are you going to join us? I'll be right back. Hi, Mommy. What a beautiful night. I finished cleaning up the kitchen and thought I'd join you. Whoa, why can't I see Mommy? Remember how we were talking about all the things light can do before? Yeah. The way the light is reflecting off her from behind when it is dark outside makes her look like a dark outline. It's an example of positive and negative space. What's that? See how the light is making mom's outline look dark? If we drew a picture of what we see right now, the dark shape you see would be the subject of the art. It's the main thing you see. The bright light is the background. What's this about drawing pictures? You don't want me to draw your mother, girls. Oh, Dad, you just need to practice. I bet Mrs. Bryson could teach you to draw. Nah, I can't draw a stick figure. You just
just need to learn how to draw with the right proportions. If you learn some tricks to draw figures using a one-point perspective, I bet it would look pretty good, Dad. Perspective again? What does it mean this time? When you draw a person, you have to draw the body, head, and arms a certain size so that it looks right. Same thing for drawing a face. If you draw the eyes and the nose in the wrong places, it won't look like a real person's face. It's getting a little chilly outside. Can I make everyone some hot chocolate while you're enjoying the stellar view? Yes, please. You got it. I'll be right back. Oh, here comes Bart. Okay, kids, gather around. Take turns looking through here. Whoa, look at all the stars. What's happening? It's called a lunar eclipse. This is why I suggested using the telescope tonight. The moon is moving into the Earth's shadow where it can no longer reflect the light from the sun, so it appears dark. The planets are overlapping each other. Just like the cookies on this plate. Eat up, kids. Thanks, Mom. Yummy. Thanks for taking the time to set up the telescope to show this to us, Dad. This was so cool. Few things can give us as much perspective as realizing the enormity of the universe. We are just one very tiny part of it. Let's see how much more of the universe we can see. You know what, Daddy? What, Stella? No matter how much space there is, I really love our monster universe. Me too, sweetie. Me too. Hey, Mrs. Bryson, we have an extra cookie. Would you like one? 